yo what's up guys welcome back so today we are going to take a look at this robotic combat suit built by kantanka in ghana west africa all right so what you see right now holding a guy is the robotic helmet now the guy sees that the robotic helmet has built-in radio communication device that the soldier can use to communicate with his colleagues on the battlefield and the guy also said that the robotic helmet has built-in infrared sensors and lasers that aids the soldier to identify targets and eliminate them now if you click on that button over there it activates the rocket launcher at the back of the robotic suit now this rocket launcher can take out armored vehicles and tanks on the battlefield which seems a little bit hilarious to me but hey that's what we are here for so let's enjoy it now if you click on that button again it deactivates the rocket launcher and retract it to its original position at the back of the robotic suit. Now let's come to the leg. Now you know as a soldier, your leg is one of the most important assets on the battlefield. You need to be able to move freely and dynamically without any hindrance. Now what this leg does is that it gives the soldier superhuman strength and agility which allows him to move quickly and also lift heavy weights. Now from the video you can see that the robotic leg has three joints, the ankle joint, the knee joint and the hip joint. Now together with these three joints, it allows the soldier to move freely in a way that would otherwise be impossible. Now if you also look again at the suit, you can see hydraulics attached to it. Now this, what this hydraulics does is that it allows and enables the soldier to lift weights that he would have otherwise been unable to lift with like his normal human strength which i think is a plus side all right right now i'm sure you are wondering how the soldier is able to get into the suit now don't worry i got you covered now for the soldier to suit up you first of all need to open the top hatch the middle hatch and the down hatch then after he puts his foot inside and secure it then after he locks it back again yeah i know simple as that and the soldier is ready for combat If you look underneath the robotic leg, you see some rubber pads underneath it. Now what this rubber pad does is that it prevents the soldier from slipping and falling. I'm sure if you're a soldier, you don't want to slip and fall on the battlefield during combat. I mean, that's a waste day for a soldier. You don't want that to happen to you at all. So, good job, Kantanka. Alright, so right now let's check out the arm. Now what you see over there is called universal joint. What this does is that it allows the soldier to move and rotate his arm freely in almost all directions. Now if you look closely, you can see hydraulics located at the arm joint. Now what this hydraulic does at the arm is that it allows the soldier to lift heavy weight which he would have otherwise be unable to. It can lift up to 100 kilos which seems hilarious but hey, I mean it's made in Ghana right so they can do it bro you just have to believe in them. I'm sure by now my female audience are wondering where the female suit is. Don't worry, I got you covered. Kantanka didn't build the suit for only men. He also built a female version. Now, as you can see with the female version, it's a little bit smaller because, as you know, as you know, females are not all that big. So, he built the female version a little bit smaller than the men's own. 
But hey, my ladies, you also get your own suit, so <laughs> you can go outside and be a young woman or something like that. <laughs> what you see in front of you right now is a machine gun, and this is a rocket launcher. Now, this rocket launcher shoots up to 49 missiles, which, if you ask me, seems too crazy to be true and seems too good to be true but hey it actually does work now this machine gun that you see over there is automatic meaning it is not controlled by any human being it is autonomous it controls itself it identifies and targets and shoots all enemies automatically without any human intervention now if you ask me i'll say ghana is actually advancing China, you better watch out very soon. Gun will be coming for you. So hey. <laughs> now for those of you wondering, the machine gun actually shoots up to 500 rounds. Now 500 rounds is a lot. It's a lot of rounds to be shot at. Imagine being shot at with 500 rounds. Man, alright people. See you in the afterlife.